Okay. Classic edition. I'm excited. Oh my god, wait. Last time, of course, it ended with... Wait, it, we uh, we got injected with the serum. Okay, right, episode four, Guardian of Gotham. Bruce and Batman must forge new alliances and fight old rivals to protect the innocent and keep Gotham from descending into chaos. Almost done with it. Yeah, right, episode four. It was a cliffhanger. I was so mad. I was like, how have you not done this to me? How have you done, th not how have you not done this? How have you done this to me? Previously on Batman Tells Our Series. <gasps> oh my god, Selena! How did I forget about Selena? Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? Because I love you, girl. I haven't actually seen it yet. You've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe. Our stock I'm gonna is love tanky. this episode. I'm scared now! Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oh my god, yeah, Penguin. I forgot all of this. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce. Oh my god. This part. Please, Selena, I have to tell you how I... Bruce? This part was hot, literally, right? <laughs> I'll think about it. Oh, and we asked her to move Dr. in with us. Pen. Oh my That's god, this part. Done. Denial for a lot of that. Someone at work bought me a Lego magazine with a small ship built. It was so nice. Was that the one you posted in the Discord? Bruce is just a wit <laughs> a white rich bat fairy who beats up mentally handicapped and gay people at night. <laughs> that should be in his bio. <laughs> you have to face the truth sometime. <laughs> Retribution, Bruce. Hey! <laughs> Are we in a cell? Oh, his beard's grown. Usually I like a beard, but for Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Ew! What, <laughs> what doctor? <laughs> Why does he look like that? Ew! <laughs> Rusty cot. Okay. Is that my blood. God, I hope it's mine. I don't know how. Does anyone know how long it's been? Arkham Asylum. Oh this yeah, I was gonna say we're in asylum. Ew. Why does he suck like that? Angry. Right? Lovely. Posture, babes. Posture. Come on now. Should we? Oh wait, yeah. Can't be real. Ew, I'm sorry, but he looks he looks like scary. He he looks so much better clean shaven. 
Better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? Rat poison's nice. I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Yeah! Go Bruce. Any of this ringing a bell? Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. No. As you were. That's a taser. You look just like him. My Your dad. father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? We Somebody's still have the drugs. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not, but you're the next best thing, Wayne. You rat. <gasps> oh no. Appreciate the help. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each other, who will, right? What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looks. I don't know if right, that's good that he told them that. Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. We have He's a very cute when he has a more no fighting policy chin. here in Arkham. If you can't obey that rule, you're going to find yourself in hot water fast. The order it was leader self was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, He's head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing cute, your case but personally. scary. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. Where did so now, that blood come me. from, though? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have think any I open ever wounds. Your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? We just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> He's scary. <laughs> You guys are simping over Joker. John is one of our most improved patients. Right, I He's don't like the eyes. He's been with us for quite some time. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? What is up with the blood? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. I feel like that has a double meaning. Do you hear me? There's too many white tiles. <laughs> This is like the first character that I'm sorry that I can't agree with you simping over. Our last session was so enlightening. <laughs> That's good to hear. 
Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself now. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! Jeez. You gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Nom nom. Oh. Oh god. Literally me, I want to taste. Stop you it. Remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. He yes, does well, sound like Trevor. Betting patients to swallow game pieces isn't really how that's supposed to be played. <laughs> no, no, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill you me. You don't know the president. No! They don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such if it's for the staff, why is it out of the hole? Stop. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. What are you doing? I don't trust him. You bite everyone? Nom nom nom! I do like the voice. He, he looks like he looks, Like, he does sound like Trevor. Welcome to Arkham Asylum! <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> no, you don't say! But everyone's friendly, mostly. Guardian of Gotham. Watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan. That looks of like an off brand Alfred. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham Bruce! Oh, wait, you what's his name? Sick little imagination. Oh, what, what's of his yours. name? Murder, mayhem, carnage. The what? What's his name from the game? What's his name? That's St. Louis. <laughs> his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up. Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. So Holly, babes. Here. What is this? It's a key. What? He did an owl head move. The other guy's Arnold Wesker, the ventriloquist. Oh my god, the Wesker. The Weskers of um Oh, if I stand in his way, he doesn't move. Haha. <laughs> the Weskers of Batman. Hello. Hey, uh, I was wondering about- It's not lunch yet. Oh. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't- it's not time for meds, either. Beat it. Beat it! Beat it! I solved the cookie riddle, not you. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, it's just, okay. It's, it's driving me nuts! So that's how we get out. No, oh. Oh, no. We can use the key on multiple things. Nice. What did happen right to Harvey? Oh wait, I could have chosen to save Harvey or the Invisible Woman, um, also known as Sergeant Montoya, um, and I chose Sergeant Montoya. I didn't realize I had an option. You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off. All right. No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. No, 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 we pretty much just started. Victor Zaz. Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. <laughs> I like your style, kid. So what's the deal with that? Well, this one. 
was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. Mm. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. Mm. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. Oh. All lost souls that I freed from I their like earthly lives. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me. I missed you. Falling in love already. We're falling in love. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there? <laughs> Wait, that's the move you're going to make? What? He cheats. Every time, he cheats. Sees what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater. I told you, if I, just I could kills read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. Lewis. Hmm, we can give them the key. Wasn't he at the debate? That really the number on this guy. Just let him be. Back in episode two, I swear he was. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. He literally looks like a Resident Evil mutation in Resident Evil Six, literally. Bruce, who needs Selena when I have Joker around? Not Zaz. Not Zaz, no. No, that's me. Not mean. I can't get behind that. I'm sorry, but I can't. I can't do it. I can't. Hello? Hello? Go away. Arnold's busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. Okay. What can you tell me about oh, uh, no. <laughs> John Doe? John? <laughs> Nothing. I don't know anything. John? <laughs> ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Devon, sorry. Oh, you know something weird? No <laughs> one remembers the day John came to Arkham. <laughs> Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him. Ever been oh my god. you think oh. a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah. <laughs> Get back! <laughs> oh my god! I did not even pay attention to that. That was hilarious. Why are we so in so much? We can never do that. Oh wait, let's talk to this dude. All of them. I thought he was shaving his feet for a minute, and I got weirded out. <laughs> I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. Well, mm. don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Oh, it's kind of cute. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. <laughs> it was the cameraman's first day. Uh, sure. What happened there? Can you talk to him about John Doe? What do you want? Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. Feels like you have Speaking experience. As a, as a professional. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. Should I ask who the key is for? Hi, ZX Jux. How how do you pronounce your name? Oh wait, I meant to use the key. Sorry. Doesn't oh. look there. 
I don't know if it's safe to ask around for like the key. Ask? Okay. Damn, why are you walking so goddamn slow? Bruce. What do you want? Any idea what this opens? How the hell should I know? Get that thing away from me. I don't want any trouble with the orderlies. It's weird hearing this, Saz, because in the games, he's very... Like, his voice is a lot more... I don't want to say therapeutic, but it's definitely got a softer and more creepier tone to it. Ask Ventriloquist. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, this is Ventriloquist. Now what? So... <laughs> Did we? No, we didn't, did we? At like, my academy place, we did masks. I think we were meant to make sock puppets as well, but. Any idea what this opens? <laughs> Not this again. <laughs> Not what again? <laughs> Just go away, I'm busy here. You heard him, beat it. <laughs> Yeah, it was sock puppets. Or was it the mask? I can't remember. That's literally the first thing I thought of nice when trick. I saw him. Listen, pal. Arnold's had a tough time in here. And he doesn't need bullies like you making oh, his God. harder. <laughs> Come so on. Have something important to say, get lost. What is up with his eyes? The glitches are powerful in this game, right? Your key it didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's... That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local sky train depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one. Ew, has no, you must be not me. Interesting lately. <laughs> In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double-crossing, two-faced. <laughs> you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Oh my god. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. I'm in starting which mayor to see Dent the appeal. The creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Lady oh, that was him mimicking the voice. <laughs> Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicky Of course Vail there isn't. After her mysterious disappearance course not. earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. <laughs> I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait. He knows. You know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot. Oh. <laughs> Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. I feel like he wants the revenge. You. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. Ooh. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. 
Ooh. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. Was he doesn't like full of penguin, her drugs. Then. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. What? They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Huh. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Don't try to make this about me. Of course it's about you, Bruce. This is all about you. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards Maybe you should jump That's dump Selena for... You see, I know what Vicky. you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not going to do anything while you're stuck in here. <laughs> so, I vote we get you out. Yes. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I uh, can... Assume I can take care of that. <laughs> Why is that kind of hot? It's <laughs> gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. No, okay, because, like, you know when you're speaking... Well, okay, in my experience, when you're speaking to a guy and then they lean down or they lean closer so they can hear you. Or, like, when you're sitting and they move their chair closer to you. That's what that's giving. And that's so attractive like j i just is that just me kind of don't like the jo joker's voice he doesn't sound like the joker he sounds more like what zaz sounds like yeah i don't know what it is yet but what's one favor between friends let's be clear about one thing the way no i didn't want to say that i didn't know what option to choose getting out of this place Whatever you say, Bruce. But oh, I hurt never his feelings. It's a very, very long time. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. How do I get out of the gate? You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? <gasps> ah! no! Oh my god! Oh, I don't match him. Oh god, I don't match! You can fix that right now! This skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of no. it! No! No! Ah! Someone get me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> <laughs> oh, why is it glitching? Go, <laughs> <laughs> <Draw> security! <laughs> Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? 
Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? I am, babes. Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. Can they not the same see my the veins? Of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. Uh, this might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now, and Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Big up, Thanks. Gordon. I have to go. <laughs> oh, Bruce, I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. What? How is that gonna? Quickly, come on. Well, good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show. You know, I'm a bit stuck on. Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Oh. If you're looking for who to blame, maybe start with the mirror, because you're the one that left violent psychotics unattended. Mr. Wayne, I understand you have been through a Ooh. trying day, but that does not give you the freedom to criticize me or this facility in that way. Because from my perspective, my patients were fine until you went into that rec room today. One moment. I love the casual yeah. one moment. <laughs> Seems you have a visitor. <gasps> Alfred! Alfred. Ah, oh, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. Barely? Jeez. You see, what's like in here? in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, oh, treatment. No. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true. But I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. I don't need help. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, I need doctor. medical assistance. You have I have drugs in me. Can you not see my arm? Let's go, Alfred. Gosh. There was I the guy working there that was... see you on the outside, Bruce. <laughs> There was a guy wait. working there, though. Like, surely he would have seen <laughs> John Doe attack Zaz, right? Well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while, she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. I Did told her about Lieutenant Montoya. Did Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. So many people angry at me. The entire family... I don't know how we're going to... Turn it around. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You always do. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. Oh, no. What do you no. want, The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Oh, did he do it for protection? You'll How figure cute. that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. They're only dangerous because you made them dangerous. Armed guards on every street corner? It's insane, Harvey. I beg to differ. With the children of Arkham sneaking around everywhere, those armed guards are the only thing keeping I people safe. I feel like that's safe. actually Batman. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. 
Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared, panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. This you isn't you. You sound insane. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. Oh, oh. What you did was a low blow, oh, Bruce. Oh, oh, oh. A real oh. man wouldn't have done that. Oh. A friend wouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. She doesn't belong to you, oh. Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. <laughs> Do not lecture me about Selena. <laughs> That's a bit awkward. Bruce, that is very much. Bruce. We're done talking. A bit awkward. I do feel bad for him. She is mine now, though. She's mine. Well, what's going on here? There are armed guards on every side of the corner, so you know. <laughs> well, 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 Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> well, maybe I'll get a bonus for this. He's gonna whack Open me. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, I have it in you me. will be taken into custody. God! I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Oh no, they're all gonna come, come get angry on, what's at me the now. Damn hold up. Get back to your car. Of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! We can tell. <laughs> I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over and then back up again just to make sure it did the job! Bruce, shut up, Alfred! I can handle <gasps> this! You rat! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened you me! You don't talk to Alfred like that! I filmed the whole thing! Oh, they I should have stayed silent. Up. Oh, God. I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't. You'll be fine. Oh no, not the baseball bat. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag. Next one won't be a warning shot. All right. Now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded, hmm? And well armed. What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning Can ugly, no sir. one see my what would face? You like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us. Back oh, up, I don't know up. what to I don't know what to pick. I don't know what to pick. I'm panicking. It is the beard. The beard's changed him. Um Bruce! Here! How it's do we just have that I much have. money on us? Okay. Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. I should have just rammed the barricade. Probably is gonna hate you no matter what. Yeah. I should have chosen the barricade. <gasps> Selena, glad to hear you got out of Arkham. See you when you get back. Oh. Got some stuff we need to... Why did you ruin the mood like that? Why'd you have to do that? What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. No. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not you really interested leave. in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? Funny, I thought you could handle yourself. Oh, I can. I just also know when it's time to make myself scarce. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... 
Yeah? Oh, Selena. The night was a lot of fun, but not worth dying for. But I love you. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Okay, don't you think you're being just a little overdramatic? Oh, I don't mean it like that. Him? Come on. No? Look what he's done to you. And you're the type of person who shows up in headlines. He could have me killed and no one would ever know. But it's me. So where are you gonna go? We got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham. Take family. care of me! Of course. That's my car. No! Selena! You can't do this to me! Don't leave me! See you around. No! Good luck with no! Office. Oh! Oh, oh, the betrayal. I chose him over you. And now you're leaving me? <laughs> Selena, don't leave me kids. <laughs> yeah, what, what about the marriage and the children? Oh, I'm mad now. How could she do this to me? I'm so angry. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Well, yeah, clearly. Can you not Harvey see my face? Into a police state. Oswald has oh, stolen my, my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. You've been helping me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Can I not make an antidote? Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. Okay. Half a teeth get banned for nothing. I'm gonna leave you next time. I hope you know that, Selena. I'm gonna leave you. Okay. Harvey. My money helped him get there, but now I have to admit that Gotham City has a monster in the mayor's office. He's become a distorted version of the Harvey I used to know, twisting his crusade against crime into an excuse for authorization tactics. He's also declared war on Bruce Wayne. Oh. Signing the order committing me to Arkham Asylum and stealing credit for defeating their children with Arkham's plans. In his heart, he may want to save Gotham from crime, but his brutish so-called enforcement squads are only making things worse. I'll have to confront him sooner rather than later. I can't even begin to imagine the terrible things Oswald is doing to Wayne Enterprises now that he's CEO. For generations, my family has worked to make it a company worth admiring and he's going to corrupt it into something horrific. More than anything, he can't be allowed to discover my secret technologies. The savage beating I gave him at the press conference should keep him- oh, I want to see what he looks like so bad. The savage beating I gave him at the press conference should keep, help, should keep him distracted long enough for me to come up with a plan to deal with him. Gordon! I thought I could handle everything on my own, but Jim Gordon has proven me wrong. If it wasn't for him, I would still be rotting away in Arkham Asylum. Instead, I'm back on the streets. No matter what happens between us personally, I have to remember that Gordon always stands up for what's right. Big up, Gordon. Vicky Vale, as I thought I knew her, is gone. She has ceased to exist. Her real name is Victoria Arkham, but I guess she prefers to be called Lady Arkham. She's been right there in front of me this whole time, and somehow I failed to see it. How? She manipulated me and tried to ruin me and came too close to succeeding. It was a sloppy mistake that I can't afford to let happen again, but that ends now. First thing I need to do is track down her supply of that mind-altering drug and destroy it. She's known as Lady Arkham among her followers, but now I know her real name, Victoria Arkham. Her Vicky Vale persona seems to be gone forever. I can't believe I let her into my home. I can't believe I never figured out what she, who she was or what she was doing. But now that I know, there's nothing that will stop me from taking her and her followers down. Ever since I stopped their plot to spray the citizens of Gotham with their drug, the children of Arkham have been quiet. If it hadn't been in Arkham, I would have immediately tracked them all down. But it seems Mayor Dent has taken up the fight in my absence. He'll crush them and anyone who tries to stand up to his authorization. Or... Autotarian? Tactics? 
John Doe. My time in Arkham was short, but one patient in particular left a big impression on me. I didn't catch his name, but I won't ever forget his face. Or his... See, he kind of looks cute there. He looks like... Oh my god. Um, Brian... I can't... I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but the person who plays Connor in Detroit Become Human. Or his laugh. He's like some kind of creepy circus clown. He gave me invaluable assistance in uncovering Vicky's true identity and her missing drug stash, but there's something about him so unsettling I couldn't bring myself to agree to granting him a favour. Yes, it would have been an empty promise, but the very idea of owing him anything is not a pleasant thought. See? I feel like it's better that I give it to him straight, because now... You know. In the main continuity, Batman has a son with and his name is Damien Wayne and he becomes the fifth Robin. Oh! Mere dense war on the children of Arkham has turned Gotham into a more dangerous place than it was before. His enforcement squads aren't going to make Gotham safe, they're going to turn it into a police state. Arkham Asylum. I knew when I wrote the check for a new hospital that Gotham needed a better mental health care facility, but it wasn't until I became a patient at Arkham that I so firsthand just how dire the situation is. There's a guy with a homicidal sock puppet and a man named Zaz who's covered in the tally mark scars of each of his victims. Then there's John Doe. I didn't know who they are or what they are they did to get in there, but we have to make sure they never ever walk free. I was used to walk through the front doors of Wayne Enterprises Tower with pride. I can't do that any longer. Not since I was oust ousted. What well, the hell is ousted? Kicked out. That, I, I've never heard that before. From the CEO seat and replaced by Oswald Cobblepot, who seems to be transforming my family business into something unrecognisable, even as I write this. What's his end goal? I don't know, but I have to put a stop to it before everything my page, parents worked for, the good things they worked for, are damaged beyond repair. The spot where my parents were assassinated, the alley across from the Monarch Theatre, is the place my childhood ended and the rest of my life began, violently. Despite the fact that I installed a plaque there to honour them, I've made sure the alley has looked the same as the night my parents were shot. Why should I attempt to erase what can never be forgotten? Instead, I need to understand why they died. Um, oh wait. Wayne Enterprises is a corporate place and Wayne Tech handles our telecommunications branch through phones, computers and other technological devices. Lucius built a back door into the Wayne Tech system for Batman so I could monitor the city and keep Gotham safe but the children of Arkham have found a way to access the same information and while they can't spy on Batman it won't stop them from spying on the rest of the city. Okay. Oh wait, that, that was an update date for Alfred. I never saw it. Uh, my reputation has been ruined and my name is worthless, but somehow Alfred remains dignified despite all the mud slinging. <laughs> I thought my emotional core was as bulletproof as they come, but Alfred has shown me that he's even stronger. He was there to deliver me from the nightmare of Arkham Asylum without so much as a raised eyebrow, and I'm forever grateful. What are the headlines? I'm curious. Mayor Dent's private security raises concerns. Hmm. Wayne out of Arkham in less than 48 hours. Mayor claims credit for dropping COA crime. Missing Gazette reporter may be COA kidnapping. GCPD officer linked to Falcon killing returns to force. Oh, Montoya's back. Okay, interesting. Earth Zero is the main DC universe. Earth One is a universe where no one is scared of Batman. He tells Gores when he leaves instead of vanishing and sucks at fighting. Earth 2 is a world where DC's original superheroes grow old and have and have a legacy family. Earth 3 is a universe with Evil Justice Begin. With Evil Justice League. Interesting. I like how it's like zero, one, two, three. Easy to this remember is instead the of refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. Oh, God, no. We can no. cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to... Sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. 
We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why oh. we were lucky to have mine on file already. See what you children are bought from. Yeah, I did not get that. <laughs> this needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Oh god. Why are you getting me to do it? Finally. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. I feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? Can we shave first? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've I feel I've like that's away. something you'd never hear me say. Search for all children of Arkham <laughs> recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman... Trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. Pretty smart. She betrayed you. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Mm. Bruce, there were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Yeah, I feel like they're the most trustworthy, I'm there, not gonna of lie. Course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's I not love something the we can ignore, shadows. <laughs> trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. Okay. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. Let's go! She did betray me, but she is hot. Oh no, I really wanted to- I wanted to watch it on stream. Maybe between episode four and five, if we- if I- if we do five, I- what- I'll watch it then. We zoom in. I love how it was just so sudden. It was just him smiling nicely and then you, it's just the car going I'm inside the Vale House. Move deeper into the house to get a better look. Oh! The eyes! That's... interesting. Um, okay. Don't like that. Alfred, the oh, are dead. Oh god, I really don't like One that. One body confirmed that there's a lot of This game is gory. Blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure Oh god, don't quiet. show me enough close. Wait, he said both whales are dead, but there's only one. I only see the mother. What is going on here? Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. Ooh. There's a logo on the building. Wait. Isn't that woman the one at the press conference with Penguin last time? I I don't want to I don't want to I don't I really don't want to see her eyes that. are gone. Oh Stabbed my god! Out. That's disturbing. There's an injection wound on her neck. 
Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Is the drug getting stronger? Wait, didn't we get rid of it? Didn't we get rid of all the stuff? It's not her. It Syringe. kind of looks like her. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes, but this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. I did say she's that. escalating. This seems personal. Okay, well, the syringe would obviously be to the neck wound. <laughs> same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. But she's she's so cute. She's so pretty. How can how can you be mad at her? Like, come on. <laughs> oh. For some reason, I didn't think we'd be able to walk through that. Huh? Okay. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Why are we cutting hair? Okay, so we can link that to something. Oh, knife. We'd probably link it to the knife, right? What's up with my suit? It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Oh, was it from the fight with Lady Arkham last time? No, don't open that. Oh, you rat. Okay, we can't. Fine. Alfred found Mr. Bale. Oh, no. Alive. Oh, God. No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Think the roles were reversed. <laughs> this game's gory. So how you examine her in a crime scene? Attempted to fight back with this knife. But only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Oh, it's Vicky's hair. Clearly. <laughs> um, and then I guess we'd link the. No? Oh, okay. He does not approve, guys. He does not approve. Got to find something else. Yeah, I'm actually interested as to why she killed her parents. What was the reason? Unless I got something wrong here. Who? <laughs> Who's that looking snazzy? She killed them with her hotness. I am confused. So the knife would obviously be to the hair. The syringe to her. That dude I timed out didn't come back. How long was it? How long was the timeout? Um. Is there something I'm missing? I feel like there's something I'm missing. There is a family photo, but I don't know what that would connect to. Selena is hotter. Oh, it would, no, it would link to the photo because of the industrial building in the back. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Okay. Then there's the belt, but... I don't... What would the belt link to? 11 minutes? Uh... Oh! 
large oh. amounts of blood spatter across the walls. Okay. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait. There's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. The belts. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. Come here, belts. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. She's strong. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. Oh. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. What did she, she do with her eyes? the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own she belt, murderous striking mummy. with <laughs> until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The All lost in heels. Before the hanging dead. Damn. That, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she? Alfred, I think someone's still in the house. Oh. Going to look for a heat no, signature. No, not not the boy. If anyone else is here. Not I'll the boy in them. the photo. Clear. Nothing here. Not the boy in the photo. Oh, okay. Where are we going? Yeah, let's scan the city. <laughs> no. Why is the, is the the fire's not on? The fire's not on. Why are the logs counted as a heat signature? <laughs> There's someone here, under the stairs, oh, alive. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. So they adopted him all right? as well, I'm Aside guessing. Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Yeah, I don't want to traumatize him more than he is already. You want him to be Robin? Hey, it's going to be okay. I'm going to be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. He has more of his Bruce voice than the Batman yeah. voice. Yeah. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because they're hidden here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. That was weird. Get down. Ah. Ah. Well, hello, Batman. Oh, what Penguin! A pleasure to see you. Penguin. Let me guess, you're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. 
I've got these little bat traps all over the city, but I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out in the open. That yeah. is a kid. Oh my god, no. Nice. Nice work, kid. <gasps> I'm so sorry. They're dead. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. Actually, your adopted sister. I'm guessing they adopted you, so, you know. <laughs> You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And uh... I will always owe you one. Okay, let's go. Batman. Gordon! Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Yeah, he got rid of his um, Batman voice when he here. was speaking to the kids. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her daughter. Why not just ask? Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything. But it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Oh, God. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. No. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. What? You? Oh, you. Yeah. Nice one, Brucey. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of a Batman book where he talks to a child who witnessed her parents' murder or something, but she's scared of him, so he takes off his mask to make... I see he's only a guy, not a monster. Oh. And so your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. No, do they know? Let's get a closer quick. look at you. Do they know how to like combat? Adhesion regulation reads normal. Oh. EMP functionality is all in the green. It's it quite yellow worked. though. <laughs> Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Hmm. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Hi! Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God, 
Someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my Lucius, nose. Lucius, come on now. Oh, what a mess. That sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Cut yourself some slack, Lucius. There's no way you could have known. I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. Oh, that's how he's making my equipment great. malfunction. For now, but if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. <laughs> Is there anything you God. can do? I can try to work on your firewalls, but if I do anything too drastic, that's know where, where I recognize his voice from. Cobblepot doesn't know we're on to him. We can't risk losing the element of surprise. I say you do what you need to do, as stealthily as possible. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. At least one of us is good at stealth. Thanks, Lucius. Because it's not Bruce, me. <laughs> you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Bye bye. Reports oh, of what's children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. But That's why you I wish am you had like a billionaire friend or something. State, so the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he Excuse will be Excuse me. You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate. Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. I don't think on he's any hand, bigger of perhaps Bruce's. Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable. Random. Come on. Who knows how he will react by the way? I don't know. Use vent goes Batman. I was thinking of going as Bruce though, but we did go as Bruce last time. He is angry with Bruce about Selena. That's true. I don't want, I don't want Bruce to be, I don't want Batman to be evil. I'm getting confused now. I'm gonna trust you guys and go to Batman. Tonight, Batman saves Bruce Wayne. I'm trusting yes, you. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I completely forgot to switch it back. <laughs> Don't screw this up, Harvey. It was the right thing to do. Yeah, of course. Of course it was the right thing to do. I just can't... I just can't second-guess myself. Dangerous place to stand. Be so easy to slip and fall. Oh, Batman. What a surprise to see you on my roof. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? What are you gonna do? You gonna break my legs? <laughs> or maybe you're just gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. No, not my style. Well, I guess I should count my blessings then. Ah, <sighs> funny. Maybe. Would have thought that this Wayne situation would be a little... Beneath you. Right, Batman. it feels like a very not Bruce. After everything Bruce has done. Why should I do anything for him? Wayne was your friend. He put his faith in you, supported Gave your campaign. you money. He betrayed me! He lied to my face while sneaking <laughs> around behind my back. <laughs> he wasn't Wayne yours, was okay. Just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Hill and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. To how can they get Gotham, that coin thing right, but not the smoke? Before it gets better. Ready to go. Do it. Wait, isn't Bruce smaller than Two-Face? What did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. 
Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys. The apartment next door. Jesus Christ. I should have got his Bruce. Way bigger than you said. We must have taken out a whole city block with it. We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. I don't care what your end goal was. Even one innocent life is too high a cost. Then you're thinking too small. I doubt the police would see it that way. Why does he look like the that? Police? <laughs> oh, the smart ones already answer to me. Otherwise, well, I think Gordon is already a perfect example of what happens to the not so smart what ones. What have you done to Gordon? That he wishes he had just handed over the location of the drug stockpile when I asked. What did you say about Gordon? It's a long way down, buddy. Where is he? Getting what's coming to him. You're so full of big scary talk. If you want to save this city, this is how you have to do it. Gordon is on our side. He's fighting for Gotham too. I... Crime Alley. I took him to Crime Alley. That's Harvey. That's the Harvey in him. Back off of Wayne, huh? He's gonna do the opposite. <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. I don't know why, but they made Harvey what much the taller than Batman in this game. Here, which is Dent the says case. you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No, he's got to save him. The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is. Batman. What a mess. Can say Thank that. You, save the thanks. And explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs. The location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. Come on. Let's hear it. Calm down, Gordon. Uh, calm down, he says. Two of my own officers were just about to execute me. A whole department of rats and you're pointing a finger at me. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Execution and martial law. I know. I always considered him my friend, but he's past saving. There's no world in which he manages to set this right. I don't believe that. Everyone can be saved. No, you because the thing yourself. is, he just throws them He's in the asylum. Him. He's just lost. He's a little more than lost. He's off the rails. I mean, you we'll give them to the police. That. He will then put them in the asylum, I'm guessing. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a <laughs> can scratch it privately. <laughs> but we gotta start somewhere. Maybe Grogan can help us. Hey, Dent's still the mayor. And Grogan's a by-the-book cop. Grogan respects you. You're smart. Make him listen. We need all the help we can get, to be fair. <sighs> yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jim. I'm glad we're on the same side. Aww. He was a surprise. What's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, 
Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. Here's a device that's that not I'm afraid okay. we have another problem to deal with. Oh, it is. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? <laughs> Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Cool, Selena. <laughs> hacking me from his Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. No, because I have to choose between Alfred or the Wayne Enterprises. I don't know what one to choose. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna to wait. I'm going to the Enterprises. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. I'm sorry, Alfred. It's the only way this is gonna work. Children of Arkham, they just bypass the drones. Oh, wait. Yeah, sorry, I got confused. Lucius, so are you there? Bypass them. I'm off site, but I've tapped into the security systems to give us an advantage. I can let you know where Oswald's guards are and which routes are clear. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can do that too. <laughs> Avoid that hallway. More guards ahead. Go right. Wait. Drones ahead. Turn around. Head for the elevator. At least I don't have to I'm opening the doors. Manually now. do it. <clears throat> Oh wait, come on. Oh god, it was right on it as well. Oh my god. Wait! Our suit's bulletproof! <laughs> Their posture. Avoid that right? Hallway. You remind oh, me of my ahead. posture now. <laughs> Go right. Wait. Drones ahead. Turn around. Hit. I'm opening the doors. <clears throat> opening the doors now. Whoa. Oh, my God. They finally aim for his face. That's so Avoid tricky that to do with the joystick. More guards ahead. Go right. Ah! Drones ahead. Turn around. Hit them. I'm opening the doors. Assume Oswald is in my office. <gasps> oh my God! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Does anyone have him? Look at what we've done to him. You, you, you're all bloody useless. Hey, it's the Baron Deadman. Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again. Hi. Hey. How's the wounds treating you? I'm taking you down. Mm. Yeah, I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. I'm pretty good. There's at already been a beating. Out. Been in a few scuffles here and there. You seem pretty confident about that. Yeah, well I am. You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. 
the children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city, and there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we can control nations. What are you and Lady Arkham planning? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Is this gonna tell me? You oh. know, Wayne was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. Viable breach. She has vision. <laughs> oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Neat trick, though. Pretty flashy Surely it's the thing he's wearing with his eye. Black. That's oh. not just for fashion. It's very functional. Face it, Batman. You're outmatched. Without your tech, <laughs> you're just a man in a pointy ear costume. You can't stop us. I'm pretty strong. Watch me. I did that to your face, so you know. Oh god. Why is it why what's with the frame rate? Come on, Batman! Show me what you got. For round two, sure. Because we knocked the um the chest set. No, we're not. I lied. No, we are. No, we're not. I'm confused. Yeah, that little butte is almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. A few more minutes. All your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. Is this how it feels when whoa, you Whoa, whoa. I like it. Why is he Haven't you learned so yet? weak? I've shut you down. I'm the one with the toys now, bad. <laughs> he is so much stronger than this. What the hell? Why is he just allowing this? This is the start of a new legacy. And I'm afraid. He, sh he should have kept the drugs in him. God, would have been going ham. Oh my god, the wrench. Yes. Whack him. Him. Oh. Did we just break his arm? It's done, Cobblepot. Your revolution is over. It started with you, and it ends with <laughs> Lady Arkham. Oh, good luck. You'll never find her in time. Where is she? What is she planning? Oh, we were just this lying is just there. the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes. This city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off. <laughs> oh, I'm not telling you anything. Tell me! I won't tell you. Do your worst.
but you can help yourself by talking. I'll show him mercy. I'll stop her either way. I wonder if it will limp now like a penguin. Yes. we got him one down one to go i guess what the <laughs> just cut me down mate won't let you drop to the bottom sure gladly look how good this oh my god this is the mana alfred is this really necessary? I mean, what will people say? <laughs> Just tell them Wayne put up a fight. <laughs> he doesn't know I'm not in there. But Alfred. <gasps> no! <laughs> okay, it was pretty much half and half. Um, but I denied Joker a favor in return. Um, seven, pretty much 70% chose to follow Joker's advice and make the phone call. So what, if you hadn't made the phone call, would you have not got out? I'm confused. Uh, you and 50% of players paid off the enforcer? It's interesting, it was pretty much 50-50. We chose to intimidate Harvey as Batman instead of risking his wrath as Bruce. Uh... 50% chose to stop Oswald from destroying your tech and risked Harvey destroying your home. Oh my god. Wait, it never showed a next time! It didn't show a next time! How rude! 